Hi, in this video we're going to show you a nice tool you could use to mount image files. That way you could open them and view their contents. And you could also use it to create image files. So it's a program called Image Drive or IMG Drive. So once you download and install it, you just have a simple interface. So then you just need to pick the file you want to mount. So I have an IMG file here and an ISO file here. So we're going to try them both out. So you can just click on mount, browse to the location. So let's do the IMG file. You might get this message from Windows saying, what do you want to do for autoplay options? Just ignore that. Then when you go to File Explorer here, and then we have this D drive, and it's called Documents because that's the name I put in the properties when I created this image file because I just created the uh, file using all the uh, files from the Documents folder here. So if we open it up here, you can see here's the contents of that image file. It actually matches my Documents folder because that's what I used to create it. And then, of course, you know, you could... Uh, Copy things out of there if you want to do that as well. And then when you're done, just unmount it. Now let's try the ISO file. Okay, go back to File Explorer. All right, so here's our D drive again. So you can see we have the contents of this ISO file listed here, and we could view them and go into all the subfolders and copy files out of here if we want to as well. All right, let's unmount this. Now you could also copy your whole disk to an image file if you want to make an image of a whole drive. I haven't tried that, so I'm not sure how well that'll work, especially if you think you're going to do it with your Windows um, drive and think you're going to boot to it. It's probably not going to do that. Um, but if you want to just make an image for an entire drive, you could use that option. But we're going to do the create image here. And then we'll do, let's say, pictures. And then you could pick the file here. We're going to put it on our desktop. And we'll call this pictures. And your only option is an ISO file. And you could change the label if you want. So we can click on start. Okay, so here's our pictures ISO file here. Now if we mount it, go back to File Explorer, this PC. That's the pictures label. And then you can see we have everything that matches the uh, pictures folder here. Okay, now we'll just unmount that. Okay, then if you go to the options here, you'll have some options, general options here. If you want to start with Windows, keep a history of recent files, options for your drives, hide empty drives, change icons, unmount when ejecting. Integration with these types of files. So you have some shortcuts here. If you want to have some shortcut keys and then some hotkeys that you could create yourself. Then you just have some menus up here, kind of similar. Mount image, mount folder, change your views, have some favorites. And if you want to change the number of drives, so let's make this three. All right, so now if we mount, pick this one here for D, click on F here, mount this one. Click on G, mount that one. You just have to click on each drive each time you want to mount it. So now if we go to File Explorer, now you can see we have a drive letter for each one of these. Just like that. And then you could also unmount them from Windows as well from File Explorer. You right click, you have an eject option like that. So either place you could unmount them. And now you're back there. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download this and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. Uh, mount your files and if you go to mount, it tells you what files it supports there for mounting. But like I said, if you're creating an image file, it's only an ISO image, but you can mount all these types. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.